What's up, dude? <laughs> ah, come on! I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brian at Whisper Status 74. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the channel. If this is the first time you are seeing me. Please consider liking and subscribing. We are Real Tech for Real People. Today's video is going to be on the LG C1 Aim Optimizer settings. A lot of you guys have asked me for these settings. I don't typically do um, settings videos as they're very subjective. You like your settings the way you like them. So these are not calibration settings. I'm not a calibrator. So what I want to show you today is, as I mess around in Black Ops Cold War, is how I use the optimizer settings. I'm playing live, these are not bots, this is not pre-recorded, I'm talking to you as I play this. So when the game optimizer was first announced, I believe it was on the CX, I didn't really care much for that as it was more utilized to you know, make the darker areas brighter if you wanted to. So I didn't use it much and even when it was updated to have this game bar, which I'll show you in a second, I didn't use that much either. And coming from the CX, I didn't see much reason to use it. The CX and the C1 are so unbelievably quick that it doesn't really matter. Ooh, a terrible KD right there. Enemy spy as I'm trying to film this. So what I like to use it for is having an OLED myself, obviously. I don't like to crush the blacks, obviously, but I don't like an OLED's look washed out. So what I like about the optimizer is it, like, it lets me increase the whites and at the same time deepen the blacks and that's primarily what I use it for so now on the camera it might look crushed to you but for me OLEDs just look better with more of a dynamic look to them Dynamic tone mapping is enabled, or HDR tone mapping, what's called on C1. So in a second, I'll show you I have that set up. And this is not for every game, but I will tell you that with OLEDs, as I mentioned, there are certain games that do wash things out. The new Deathloop does not have great blacks, and I want OLEDs to look like OLEDs. So as we're looting, looting, as we're loading this new game, here's the optimizer bar here. Oops, that's a little high. There we go. It's telling me I'm at 120. The black stabilizer is on. Low latency is on. Free sync premium on. And when I go into the game optimizer, for me, I'll wait until the game actually starts. This at its default is 13 and 13. And what I'd like to do is change the image. And for me, put the whites up and the blacks down. Now it comes off a little bit like a dynamic contrast. Um, I also have the boost enabled, which I didn't see a big difference in the appearance of it. We'll see here as the game starts. Let's get a different gun here and try to go to an area where there is some light right before I get shot in the face. So if you guys can see that there, go back and reset. See how washed out that is? Now the whole thought process behind that is obviously being able to see in you know, different areas and not have people hiding in shadows, which I understand. 
I don't ever really have that problem as far as seeing. I don't think OLEDs crush it that much, depending on how you play it. Wow, this whole crew isn't even looking. Oh, okay. Hold on one sec. First, I have a menu right in front of me. I <laughs> can't see a thing. Alright, so, as you can see, it doesn't look terrible. It's just very... Sorry. It doesn't look terrible. It's just very... As this menu burns into my screen. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh my god. So anyway. Sorry for the silliness. Anyway. As I restart, let's get back to our well-lit area here. Okay, as you guys can see. So what I had mine set to previously was to take the black stabilizer down. And it creates, you know, obviously much more contrast. Whoa. Come on around, come on around, come on around. Where you at? So it's probably too dark. Actually, you can barely see him. <laughs> so I probably should have it up a little higher. But I personally like the look of the contrast. What I like about the enhancer though, or the optimizer, can you call it enhancer, the optimizer is being able to darken the image without actually darkening the image uh, entirely. So Black Ops is one of the few games that has, you know, no real way to change the brightness. Unlike Modern Warfare, and hopefully Vanguard is different than that. Clearly not safe sitting up here, but it's finding that balance between blacks being too black. And the way I combat that is keep it at, I think I had it, I had it winning, is bring B's up to 20. I'm not coming back to that same air. Oh, I'm on the wrong side, my bad. Same kind of well-lit area. I still see the detail in the gun and the light. But I have better... Better contrast. I do like the performance boost and all that, obviously. But I am somebody who just needs the image quality to still look better. And when OLEDs, for me, stop looking like OLEDs, then I'm just not a fan of anything changing that. <laughs> As I can't see that person. <laughs> totally disproving the entire video. Alright, have a good day. Alright, hold on. Alright, so here we are in a more well lit area. Actually, I think I had this to six. Did I have the six? Yeah. So, you can see where you can play around with it. But I think, again, having this, and I have, um, again, HDR tone mapping enabled, and you're going to hear from a lot of people, hey, this is right, and I'll tell you guys, the thing about settings is, you know, this isn't Steven Spielberg, you know, it's whatever you guys want it to be, it's a game, I don't necessarily need the game to look super realistic. Yes, I want to be able to see my enemy, but I still want it to be cinematic and still look nice. And again, without having without having any uh, in-game options for the way it looks. I know I'm losing my love. I got you. I'm trying to shoot a video. Now I'm getting to it. back into the light. You know, again, air patrol detected. resetting it. Enemy spy plane inbound. It's just very kind of washed out. So again, for me, you 
you know, so if you go in and knock the whites, or knock the whites, bring them up, it doesn't further wash it out, but it does give you more white, and then you take this down as I'm dying. And I just like that better. I just think it's, oh, by the way, I'm not. I still have the visibility that I want, and to me the game looks more cinematic. I know, like, again, game settings for OLEDs are tricky, but I don't like changing the black level and, again, making them look washed out. As I mentioned, Deathloop, a new game, doesn't really have great blacks. It's very blue. So that, to me, and if you have any kind of banding, which all OLEDs do, all panels do, you'll see them more on that light blue, light gray. Think like Resident Evil 2, when the, the remake was done, everything was very light grayish. Ah, I can't stop them. Oh, there's that. Many more game videos on the channel, mostly had them back in the day. There's enough videos that show my face, you don't need to see it anymore. But now that I have my personal display back, whoa, which is an 80 inch H3 and C1, you'll see much more gameplay. And videos like this that aren't as long, I could obviously pause the game or go into a lobby and, and show it to you that way, but I'd much rather just play and talk to you guys. In the comments, please tell me what console you have, what games you're looking forward to. Uh, Battlefield was also delayed. Halo has been, you know, half the games coming out. What do you guys think? Beta for Vanguard is out tomorrow on Xbox. I missed it on PS5. What are your World War II was the last place I wanted to go back to. I'm out of, the the boots on the ground thing doesn't really matter to me. Back to the game optimizer, I think it's an excellent option. You can also pick between, you know, RPG, first person shooter, standard. It's a really cool option. And again, letting you bring, letting you bring up one and not the other is cool, or one or the other is great. It's a great addition. Um, I'm very pleased with it. Team Alright guys, and as we're chilling in the zoo here, yeah, which so is a one. brand this new, really old map, gotta hand it to Call of Duty, I mean a lot of these maps were just redos, which I don't mind legacy maps, they're great and everything, but come on man, like every, these maps have not even changed. Um, I'll show you what game settings I am rocking myself, yeah, and going into the optimizer, you're gonna go, oh, there's our, oh, I'll show you that, RPG. RTS, standard, and FPS. So actually mine, are, that's my standard, it's a little bit darker. But as we come in, whoa, where would I be? Back into all settings. 
They're very basic. Brightness for me. Contrast, their screen brightness is 50. Hmm, interesting. The uh, HR tone mapping is at, um, is on HR tone mapping instead of HGIG. HGIG, what, for me, guys, rule of thumb for HGIG, and you'll see that in the new death loop. Make I don't get booted. Is that if HGIG for me and tone mapping off look exactly the same, it's not doing anything. That's just my thought. Dynamic tone mapping is on here. Games like um, Deathloop, HGIG has, or at least in my opinion, is brighter than dynamic tone mapping. So, so I use it. I like things to look more poppy. It's pretty dark off. HGIG looks the same. So I leave it on, brightens things up. And all the rest of the stuff is pretty basic. Now color depth, I have my color up higher. I do like a more saturated image. Doesn't always look like that. I change it sometimes. Fine tune, color gamut, auto detect. I do have that. Can change it. I keep it auto detect. And then for white balance, I like my image cooler. So you can see it there, it's cold nine. Um, I know a lot of people like warm. So they wanna to go to warm 50. I believe it's warm 50, which is the equal of warm two. And it's not my favorite. So I don't love the really yellowish look or brown look to it. Let's see if I can find this guy running around. I know, I know it doesn't look as warm as it does to me in person because OLEDs do look cooler. But I like it to be... Um, I like it to be cooler. So I aim where it would probably be, you know, medium. So I guess having the slider lets you really... Let's you really pinpoint it. So we'll show that again. It's cool having that. That's so hard to see when the TV when it's right in your way. Now again, guys, we're not calibrating anything. This is just messing with the color. And for me personally, I like it to be just into getting into cool. So, you know, for me, that'd be about medium versus cold one or cold two, or, you know, what used to be cold one or cold two. And to me, it's just, what well, the color of the coolers, color of the coolers, <laughs> the cooler the colors, oh my God. <laughs> um, the crisper the image looks to me, you know, warm image can look fuzzy. Same team, bro. So, up there. Get that triple. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come to me. Ah. So that's it, guys. 18 minutes. Just talking smack while we play. Um, I like the game. Optimizer, I think. Obviously, gaming, the advantage. As you camp in the corner. Um... The advantage, obviously, for LG is having a lot of these gaming features that other companies do not have. I certainly appreciate them, and it's exactly why I chose the C1 over the A90J. Even though I do prefer the picture quality of the A90J slightly, just this kind of gaming optimization is... It's just, it's nowhere else. I mean, it really is amazing being able to have a TV this large. This one is, as I mentioned, 83 inches, um, 120 FPS, you know, low latency, things like that. It really is amazing. And again, the camera, 
At this distance is about four and a half feet away. I'm about six and a half feet away. And that's it, guys. I hope everybody is doing well. I hope you guys enjoyed all the value electronics shootout that we did and the live stream walking through the city was hysterical. Um, love you guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your settings are. If you have a C1, a G1, CX, let me know how you rock it. If you don't like the settings, I'm sorry. It's just what I'm playing with. And again, not looking to say I'm a calibrator. These aren't meant to be accurate. It's a video game after all. And in reality, guys, when it comes to shooting that guy in the head, <laughs> when it comes to how you want the image to look, trust yourself. Trust your eyes. Figure out what you like. Don't worry about what someone else has. I mean, here you are. I'm not having a hard time seeing with the black level enabled. <laughs> but it does make the image look better, in my opinion. But again, that's all preference. And when you guys ask for settings, all I would say is have some confidence in what you like and what you prefer. Because one, the TVs aren't the same. You're gonna have different settings. For you, this might be too dark. For me, it's perfect. It might be different in another game like Returnal, which is very dark. But for me, COD is always a little washed out anyway. This changes that, gives me back my deep blacks while also giving me the performance. All right, guys, see you in the comments. Love you guys. Take care.